Welcome to the Art New Wave Studios. My name is John Creighton Peterson, mixed media fusion artist, and today I'm here to share with you some amazing techniques using Imagine Crafts creative medium for working with your mixed media projects. If you've never worked with creative medium before, it's available in a two ounce bottle. And one thing I like to do is, if you notice on the top here, I have the color just swashed on here. So what I like to do when I first buy a bottle is go ahead and open it up and then just take a little out and then just spread it on the top of the bottle. That way I can always see what color I'm working with it without having to check the label all the time. Creative Medium is available in 10 colors, six of them iridescent, which on a lighter color, it kind of has that mother of pearl effect. And then there's four metallic colors. But the amazing part is when you put these onto a dark colored cardstock, look how these really jump out, especially the iridescent colors. Today I'm going to show you how to use the iridescent colors with a little bit of the metallic for making your own custom colors for your mixed media work. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite techniques. So I'm starting with the chartreuse, and if you notice, I'm just kind of blabbing and blobbing little spots kind of here and there. I'm going to wipe off my palette knife. This is one time when you don't want to double dip. Now I'm going to pick up some of the pink. And I'm just going to randomly kind of put some of the pink on here. Again, I'm wiping off, and now I'm going to pick up some of the turquoise. And I'm doing the same thing. Just kind of putting it here and there. No real right or wrong with this. And then lastly, I'm going to put some of the silver on. Now, the silver, because this has such a high concentration of silver pigment in it, you only want to do a little dab to do yet on here, because if not, it's going to overpower your work. Now that I have this all on here, I'm just going to start blending together and kind of smearing my different colors together. It's kind of like having a bagel. So I'm just I'm going to do a little more on the black side just so you can see. And on this side, if you notice, there's a little bit more of the silver just because I picked up a big silver splotch. So it's going to be a little more intense over there with not so much color. And now I'm going to pull up my stencil and there is the wet creative medium on here. Now I'm going to zap this real quick with the heat gun so you can see those quick results. So here we are dried and there's some great color jumping through here. You can see some of the blue popping out, a little bit of the pink, and even on the mother of pearl side you can see those colors jumping out. Now I'm going to show you how to mix your own custom colors, which is where I always have a lot of fun with the creative medium for building texture and color to my projects. Now it's time to mix our custom colors of the creative medium, and the key to this is using a pigment ink refill. So for my first color combination, I'm going to do the Memento Lux Bahama Blue Reinker, and I'm going to be putting that into some of the chartreuse. So on my craft mat, I'm just going to put some down. And now I'm just going to add literally a dot of the inker so you can see just how that little amount is on there. And now I'm just going to mix this with my palette knife. Get this mixed up really, really good. And again, the if I wanted to make this a little bit darker, I would just add a little bit more of the pigment ink in there, but I think I'm good right there. So I've mixed up my three colors of the Creative Medium and the Iridescence, and I have here the Radiant Neon Electric Green Inker added to the Turquoise Iridescent. This is the Pearlescent Lavender in the Brilliance Inker added to the Pink Creative Medium in the Iridescent. And then finally, I have the Chartreuse iridescent creative medium with a little bit of the Memento Lux Bahama Blue inker. And I've got some gold over here too that I'm going to use for a highlight. Again, I just want to remind you it's best to use a pigment ink refill for doing this technique. I found that if you use a dye base or solvent based inker, it coagulates and doesn't always mix up that well. So like I did before, I'm just going to start picking up some of my creative medium in the first color and just randomly kind of splotching it here and there. 
So, that is the green inker with the turquoise iridescent. And now I'm going to do some of the purple reinker with the pink iridescent. And don't worry if you don't get it mixed all the way through. That's totally fine because you can always have those blank spots to show the true color through. And I'm just wiping off. Don't want to be double dipping. Not polite, just like when you're at a party with chips and dip. So then there's a little bit of the blue. One more wipe, and then I'm going to just add a little bit of the gold here and there. A little in the middle. Now we're going to do the same technique, and we're just going to start blending these together. And another thing to remember, at least with the creative medium, is that a little dabble tree, this goes a very long way. So always remember that when you're working with this, you don't have to empty out half the bottle when you're working with a stencil, especially if it's a small detail stencil, because you're just going to end up having all this extra creative medium that's going to end up going to waste. You can already see those colors jumping out. This is going to look amazing when it's done. And another thing, if you haven't worked with a lot of the stencil paste before with any brand, is the thinner you put it on, the quicker it's going to dry. And it's also going to keep you from getting kind of those wispy spots when you lift off your stencil. So now I'm pretty much trying to cover all my bare areas here, so I give you something kind of big to look at. Excellent. So now... Let me lift this up and get the corner there. And check that out. I know it's a little bit hard to see. I'm trying to get this without the reflection on there. But I think you can really get a sense of all that different color and the depth that's built up in here with the creative medium. And look at those striking colors really jump out. Now before I let you out into the crazy mixed media world to get creative and have a good time for hours and hours, I'm going to show you one more technique for adding in inclusions to your work. So I pre-mixed up some of the purple iridescent creative medium with Brilliant Pearlescent Coral Inker. We have right here the Pearlescent Lavender and the Brilliant Inker added to the green iridescent creative medium. This is plain old bl uh, turquoise, I'm sorry, creative medium in the iridescent, and finally a little bit of gold. So I'm again just going to pick up little splotches of my pink, just kind of put it here and there, and because I know the pink's lighter, I'm going to put more of this on than the other colors. I keep saying pink even though it's coral, but it looks very pink to me. Now I'm adding the Pearlescent Lavender Brilliant Inker that was added to the green Iridescent Creative Medium. I'm going to wipe myself off here real quick. Now I'm just going to pick up some of the turquoise. And because I'm just putting this in here plain, what it's going to do is it'll end up adding a little bit of the turquoise color in here. But it's going to have that kind of mother of pearl effect here and there. Once it blends all together, most of that will disappear anyways. And now, let's just do some little splots of gold. Again, just little highlights here and there. And as before, we're just going to blend this all together. I feel like I should have some Jeopardy spreading music. Do, do, do. Okay, I'll never be on American Idol. That is very true. So... Let me get this on here nice and mubbly jubbly. Perfect. I'm going to put a little swatch over here on the side and a little bit on this side just so you can get an idea of what the colors look like without the stencil. Now, for some Shazam fun, I'm going to sprinkle. Keyword here is sprinkle. We're not going to have a Tinkerbell fart of glitter because it will overpower. I'm just lightly sprinkling this here and there. If you're just doing glitter on this, it's actually easier to lift the stencil off first. But because I'm going to show you kind of a thicker inclusion, this is some iridescent, I wanted to leave the stencil on here. 
And these are the micro beads from Finnabar's Art Ingredients line. And I'm going to just kind of add these here and there. There are those. And what I like to do with anything that's really dimensional, like the art beads or anything like that, you're going to soft kitty, warm kitty, just lightly pat them down so that they actually grab onto the creative medium under here. And now we're going to lift this off. Make sure you clean your stencil off right away. Going to save you some grief. And here is your masterpiece. Now you can already see on here, even with the still wet, where I have the inclusions added on here. You can see some of the purple glitter. And now we're going to let this dry and give you the good reveal here in just a second. Here's our dried project, and to be honest, I can't decide if I like it better on the dark side or on the light side, because they both look so different and unique in their own ways. That's what's truly amazing about working with the iridescent creative mediums, because it's so versatile, especially when you're making your own color custom mixes. For more creative ideas, inspiration, and techniques, be sure to check out my blog at artnewwave.com. To keep up to date with the latest projects that I'm working on and also classes that I'll be holding, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram with Art New Wave.